Let's start with the different categories under supervised learning. Again, the aim of this learning technique is to build a model that makes predictions based on evidence in the presence of uncertainty. The algorithms under this technique takes a known set of input data and known responses to the data, or simply we use the term output label. This again trains a model to generate reasonable predictions for the response to new data. Now the two categories under supervised learning are classification techniques and regression techniques. What are or what is the difference between the two? Classification techniques basically predict discrete responses. Examples would be an email if that would be a genuine email or a spam email. Another would be classifying a tumor, whether it is malignant or cancerous, or is it benign? Classification models classify input data into categories, and this typically being applied to medical imaging, speech recognition, and credit scoring, and more. Second type of supervised learning is the regression technique. Regression predict continuous responses. An example would be changes in temperature or fluctuations in power demand. Typical application of this particular supervised learning technique includes electricity load forecasting and algorithmic trading. Let's now proceed to unsupervised learning. While supervised learning tries to classify output labels from a known data set, unsupervised learning tries to find hidden patterns or intrinsic structures in data. It is used to draw inferences from data sets consisting of input data without labeled responses. A very good example or algorithm under this technique is clustering. Clustering is used for exploratory data analysis to find hidden patterns or groupings in data. Such applications include gene sequencing analysis, market research, and object detection. If you will see in our example here, we have unlabeled data set. All of them initially are of the same labels, but as we use clustering, we are trying to find patterns. And from that patterns, we try to cluster them into different groups where each cluster have the same characteristics or attributes.